Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to communicate the TIA portal software with factory.io. We're going to do it from scratch, step by step, so that you can do it too. We're going to start by entering the factory software, I'm going to enlarge it completely. And I'm going to go to the home page. This is the page that appears once you open the software. On this page we will find detailed documentation on how this software works and tutorials so that we can communicate it with different PLCs. We are now going to communicate it with the TIA portal software that uses Siemens brand PLCs. Then we are going to go to this Siemens window so that it directs us to the page where we will be able to download a TIA portal program where there will be a code that will allow us to communicate the TIA portal software with the factory. I'm going to give it a click. And it's going to open a page for me. This is the page that will appear once you click on the Siemens part. The Siemens tutorials. And we have these three options for the S7200 PLC for the SIM PLC and for the S7200 PLC. Since we do not have these physical PLCs, we are going to go to the SIM PLC section. In the PLC SIM we are going to choose the version that we are using. In my case, it is version 16. I have TIA Portal version 16. Then I am going to select this option that tells me PLC SIM version 13 to version 18. Once inside, these steps will appear, which are in English. You can translate it easily. If you do not know that language, we will translate it and it will tell us how we have to do to communicate the TIA portal software with factory. Okay, here it tells us step by step everything we have to do. But in this video we are going to see it. But I leave it so that you can also see it, review it and verify it. I will be leaving this link on the page in the description of the video. Alright. Then we go to the part where we have to download the template or the communication program. In my case it is version 16. Even if it doesn't appear, it doesn't matter. I'm going to select version 15 and we'll just migrate it, update it to version 16, okay. Since I already have it installed, it comes out as a 1, I'm still going to download it again so you can see. Look there I have it downloaded, here it is. Let's go to that page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it, alright? I'm going to copy it and I'm going to place it right in one of. In a new folder that I'm going to create here. I'm going to create a folder, I'm going to call this folder factory, okay? I'm going to enter and here I'm going to paste the folder that I have downloaded. Yes, it is a compressed folder that we have to decompress before using it. We are going to decompress it. I am using WIR to do the decompression. And we extract here. We click extract here and this would be our program, right? It doesn't appear to open it directly but if I want to open it I simply exit. I go to the portal view, the TIA portal. An existing project will simply open. This is the window that always appears when you open the TIA portal software. And what we are going to do is open a new project. For that we click on examine. We are at start. Open existing project. Examine. Then we go to the folder that we created that is on our desktop. Which is factory. We grab the template. The file that we have downloaded and select it. Since I had a project open, that project is closing and now the project that we have downloaded is going to open. I'm going to select version 15 and we'll just migrate it, update it to version 16, okay. If you have version 18 or later it will allow you to update it. But if you have version 14 then go to the version 14 part because you will not be able to migrate to a lower version. Let's wait for it to load. Ready, once it finishes loading this window will appear. We direct it to the PLC, program blocks, and we will notice that it appears. Look, an extra program block appears here that would be the block where the code is located. 
programming so that we can make communication between the PLC SIM and the factory and thus we can simulate our programs. Ready. This would be the block if we double click on it it will direct us to the programming that is used to carry out the communication between the TIA portal and the factory. This programming is done in SCL code and we do not have to modify anything here we simply leave it like this with this code with this FC block. So now it is in another language I think we are going to change it. I am going to change it to the ladder language that it is the one with which we program PLCs the most. So we are going to change the ladder language then we go to properties now there is the FUP language I am going to change it to the LAD language ready. We click on accept. Ready we would be programming in ladder language this would be the FC block that is responsible for the communication between the two software. So with this we will be able to simulate our programs. What I am going to do now is go to the factory. And we are going to create a small mock-up or we are going to open a scene. Okay, let's go to open a scene. And we are going to check that we can do the communication. We are going to open the first scene, which is a simple okay. This would be the scene here would be our conveyor belt. So we can see it. We double click on okay. And here we also double click on the sensor. So we can see our conveyor belt and our sensor. If you don't see it appear to select. Go let's see what it is and select to be able to see the labels of the sensor and the actuator. If they are not selected the names will not appear. And you will not be able to do this and simulate them. Because you can even simulate it from here. We can control it. By putting force on it. We press play. Look and as you can see we can make the belt go forward. But we don't want that. We want to control it with our program that we created in the TIA portals. I'm going to create a little program. To be able to turn this belt on and when the sensor just stops. So we can check the communication. Then, I'm going to go to the tier now. Portal. Then to control it I am going to add a normally open contact here. And I am going to call it. I am going to open it directly. Rather, at the exit we are going to place the conveyor belt here. We are going to put the conveyor here. We define this variable as output type. In the section we define it as output. Ready. We click on define. And here I am going to place a normally closed contact. Here it would be a normally closed contact or not. No. Here it would be a normally closed contact open. Because if we see in the factory here we have a reflective barrier sensor so when the object passes it will always mark a 1 this sensor. When the object passes it receives a zero. That is why in the TIA portal I am going to place this contact normally open. And I am going to call it sensor. As this sensor is always activated it will close. And our conveyor will turn on. It will move the box. And when it detects the sensor it will open and our conveyor belt will turn off. So that the object does not fall. We will define this variable as input. As you can see we are declaring physical inputs and outputs of the PLC to be able to simulate it. And this would be our very small program to be able to control this small model. We are going to start simulation. Accept. Accept. What it is going to do now is compile the program. It finishes compiling and we can now load the program. We select start the module. Ready, we have already uploaded our program to the PLC sim. Then I am going to close the TIA portal. And here we have our model. To communicate between our program and the factory. We have to go here in FI. And we are going to drivers as well. We can do it by selecting F4. And in drivers, we are going to put, we don't have any drivers selected. We are going to select, I'm going to lower this a little bit. So that it allows me visualize exactly the last one. The one that says Symex S7 PLC SIM. We select that one and this small controller appears. That we are going to configure so that it has more inputs, more outputs. Okay. We go to configuration. 
and select the model. Now we are using an S7-1200 PLC, but if you are using a 1500 or a 300, then we just do it. Select settings, we're OK. So this is where we're going to increase our inputs and our outputs. By default, they normally set it to 16. By default on the output, we're going to set it to 16. OK, you can also do that by just setting it here as default. I'm going to put it in default better so that you can do it in front. And look, I put it in default and automatically 16 inputs and 16 outputs appeared. Type ball. And these would be the analogs. OK, we type work. We exit the configuration. And now we have our driver here, which looks like a small integrated circuit or a microcontroller. And we are going to start placing here our sensor and our conveyor, our belt. We have placed the sensor. Let's see where it is. We have placed at the input I0.2. And the conveyor is in Q0.1. So here I am going to select the sensor and I am going to put it in I0.2. And I am going to place the conveyor in P01. Even here we can see that the communication has already been done. Look, I selected it and automatically, as my PLC SIM is already started. Also the controller, the PLC SIM, has just connected and communicated effectively. We already have it. Ready, we don't have anything else to do here. We just press exit. OK, let's press play. I'm going to place it better in split screen, so you can see it much better. And here I'm going to put the lenses, so you can see. As you can see now, the sensor is activated, as always, always detecting. Our conveyor, our belt is going to turn on. Let's check it. Let's press play. We are activating it. When the sensor arrives, it will be deactivated. Perfect. As you can see, our first program and our first model. In addition to communication, which is the most important thing to be able to create the models we want and simulate them, it is already done. Now it is checked. We are going to do it one more time. I am going to reset it. We are going to pause it. And now we are going to press start. Our conveyor turns on. The little box moves. And when it detects the sensor, our circuit opens. And the conveyor turns off. And well friends, that would be all in this video. If you liked it and it helped you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to make another of the models that are here, write to me in the comments and I will gladly make any of the models that you indicate to me. Until next time.